phone when he goes look mate I think you've got a good chance um, the new Ultimate Fighter audition is happening in London and it's happening in it was literally a matter of weeks so I booked the day off work got it all sorted and then just drove down early hours in the morning all the way to the tough trials I had no idea I really didn't think I was gonna get in uh, especially when I saw you know Danny Mitchell and Eric Santana or sorry Enrique Santana and all of them not turn out I didn't think I had a chance but somehow I managed to squeeze through and there uh, here I am today a tough house was a bit of an experience really. It wasn't, uh, wasn't necessarily the best experience, apart from the fact that I got into the finale. I think it may be mentally tougher, obviously you've got no one to uh, sit back on. And obviously the, the coaches you're surrounded with, you learn so much, you mature as a fighter. Um, I was very naive towards wrestling until I went to the house and now all I do is wrestle. Um, it didn't even take a few training sessions to be honest for me to realise that my wrestling was my weakness. I think within about 30 seconds of sparring I realised that um, by not wrestling I wasn't going to go very far. Um, Bolo and Luke were an absolute nightmare in terms of sparring partners, just dumped me on my back every couple of seconds. Even though I was learning to sprawl and stuff and learning to get back up, I was soon um, put straight back on my ass. I thought that was my biggest weakness. I'm gonna start competing and wrestling on the UK scene, which apparently is not the highest level compared to other areas in Europe and the US and stuff. But hopefully through training it helped improve my overall MMA game. I think uh, obviously getting in the house, I was actually walking around at about 87 kilos. I think I was being misled and the scales I was stood on, I weighed a lot heavier than what I thought I was and I was gonna to struggle to make weight. But luckily um, Ross brought um, Dean the Renegade Amensinger down and uh, luckily he sorted us out of the program, told us what we could eat and he took us through um, a real basic, well I say basic, actually quite complicated weight, um, weight cutting process and then he did another complicated weight gaining process afterwards getting all the right um, water fluid, all the salts back into us and that really really helped me out so uh, top man, take my hat off to him he worked a miracle, he managed to get uh, I think 19 pounds and 15 pounds off in both the cuts or might have even been more but he managed to get it off both times and I made weight. Uh, after doing a few cuts and that, like you know, properly, I just don't think I'm mentally strong enough to do what some of the other guys do in uh, the wet weight division to get down to weight. I think I'd rather just uh, have a bit more of a comfortable camp and uh, eat a bit more freely and then have an easier cut at middleweight. I still feel strong. I've been uh, sparring with a lot of light heavyweights to just today. I have a lot of middleweights, heavyweights as well. Mark Godby and that when they were about before he had his accident. And uh, I felt strong against them. Sam Mentor as well before he dropped. I feel, uh, I feel more than comfortable being a middleweight. Push up his head and shrug I've, you know, I worked with Brad for the finale. I'm continuing to work with him now. That's why, you know, he was here today training. I've got a great relationship with him. He's probably one of the guys I'm closest with uh, since the show. I, you know, I look after his weight cut, plus I do a bit of coaching with him. Uh, and it's just, it's been great. So I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm working with Bowler and Luke. I'm working with Norman. So since then, I've, I've yeah. taken those guys on. Brendan, and in fact, nearly all of them. I think, except for Colin, I think I'm working with absolutely everyone. I actually carry a diary in the first place, normally is to write down what I've lifted and I don't like going backwards and progress during a camp. I always like to go forward and if not, I want to identify why, what I've done wrong, why am I not getting stronger and stuff. And I like to keep a note on what I've eaten and things like that and I'm pretty honest. Um, in the house, I was just so bored, I just wrote down any old, um, any old shit. I went in there, I didn't know any of the fighters at all. I'd only seen a couple of them on TV like Colin and Norman. Um, a lot of four of the guys all come from Team Titan. So they're, you know, they're all buddies. They, hang around outside of it so they were like you know 
they had their little buddy, they had the more uh, morale support there already. I had no one, I knew no one. I was just, you know, I was all on my own, so to, um, so to speak. And if I got on all right, in the end, I was, got along with everyone. I mean, they made a big fuss about the diary deal, but behind, behind the camera, nothing really went on that match. Um, I contacted Eric Del Fierro about training at Team Alliance in San Diego, and he got back to me saying it's all okay, so in about 10 days' time, I'm gonna be flying off to San Diego and doing a camp out there. I, I cannot wait. I spoke to a couple of guys who've been out there and they say the level is phenomenal and hopefully it's going to set me off leaps and bounds. I'm going to make massive progression. Hi, I'm Dean the Renegade, I'm a singer. Look out for MMA Plus.